no! Hi everyone, in this video I want to take up my ZD Racing DBX10, the ZD Racing Rocket, um, with the stock battery and I also bought a LiPo battery and uh, I will try and test whether there's any difference um, and also test how it works and also show you the performance of the car because I have the brushed version there's also a brushless version which I have seen lots of reviews about which seems to be cool but I also I'm kind of on a, on a budget and I wanted to try whether this works too so um, you will see so this is the ZD Racing Rocket DBX10 and first of all I have to say that for an RC car which I have purchased for 120 euros, it looks absolutely amazing. The DBX10 is showing off an incredible amount of details like grippy foam filled tires, exhaust pipes on the sides, people with helmets, fire extinguishers, including the instructions, oil filled shocks, which are designed to look like reservoir shocks, sway bars for better stability during the dries, working headlights plus some sweet and bright LED bars on the front and back of the roof. Up next you will see the shocks in action in the drop test. As you can see, the stock battery, which is a nickel metal hydride, provides 2000 milliamp hours, while the LiPo offers 2600 milliamp hours with almost half the size. It's a little lawnmower. In conclusion, the DBX10 is a good purchase for under 150 euros. It looks absolutely epic and has a sturdy construction. I wouldn't recommend taking it to the skate park though and bashing it without upgrading certain parts. The plastics appear as if they couldn't handle this kind of abuse. The car was performing quite well, yet I am still considering upgrading the tires, exchanging the current 540 motor with the 550 motor or even go brushless. Please consider subscribing and thank you for watching.